Hey, hope you guys are doing well. I wanted to talk about the gig apps again and the gig economy. And I wanted to get some feedback from people who have done it or who are doing it now or who maybe are considering doing it. The reason is because I've done DoorDash and stuff in the past and it seemed like it was a decent way to make, you know, $25, $35 an hour, depending on when you did it. You could go on there and make money on the weekends or on the evenings or whenever you were driving somewhere, you could make a decent amount of money. You know, it would be enough to certainly pay for your gas. And if you were already going somewhere, you could do pick up someone's food and deliver it for 15, 20, 25 dollars. Um, it seemed like you could get those pretty easily. Now it doesn't. There is way too many, maybe, maybe there's way too many drivers now and the orders have gone down. So I compare it to like if you hold a piece of meat over a fence with a bunch of dogs, the dogs are going to be going like crazy for the piece of meat, right? That's kind of what it feels like, uh, at least for the gig apps, whether it's Uber, if you're driving people around or DoorDash or Instacart or whatever it is, there is so many people that are willing to accept any order. They don't even care how much the order pays. They don't care where the order is going. They don't even look at the economics of if it's going to be profitable to run their vehicle, to pay for gas, to have the insurance expense. And uh, so they just take any order they can get. And a lot of people under that strategy are going to find out that you you won't make much money, right? Because if you're taking $3 or $4 or $5 orders, you're never going to be able to make, you're never going to be able to do enough of those orders to make any amount of significant money. You probably will barely cover your real expenses of having a vehicle as well. So when you could do orders that would take, you know, 10 or 15 minutes and make $10 or $12 or $15 even, that was okay. But if you go on it now, I mean, I see stuff that's going 12, 15 miles, not necessarily on a freeway either. So it's a little bit of a rural driving and it's like five bucks, $5 or $6. And someone, someone's taken that. I mean, someone has taken that for six, five to $7, something that's going to take probably close to 30 or 40 minutes. And that's what you actually get paid. That doesn't in, include your gas or any expenses with operating a vehicle. Now I haven't done it. I said in a previous video, I did it in like 2021 and I think I made around $10,000 that year doing it just on the weekends and stuff. Um, and I had one week where I made a thousand dollars doing it. I was working, I probably worked 40 hours a week doing it that, that one particular week I made a thousand dollars doing just DoorDash. And there was orders in there that were, you know, $30, $40 for the ones that you go shop at, Safeway or whatever. I like to do that if I'm bored or whatever. It's fun to go do that if it's a decent amount of money. You can pay for a full tank of gas and do it in like 30 minutes. But those are gone. You know, some of those orders, I, I just go on there randomly. It's just funny to look at them. I, I kind of get entertainment out of just going on there and looking at how bad the orders are. Um, and I'm like, who's doing that? You know, it doesn't even make sense. You know, I made a $1,000 one week working probably 40 hours that week. And that's before any expenses. Like I said, gas, insurance, uh, anything. You're getting like $1,000. And you have to kind of be willing to work really early in the morning. Like it, I was maybe working at five or six in the morning some days if I got up early. And then late at night, like nine to 11 or so, because there's less people on the road and you can get, you can knock out some orders. Um, during, during those times. That's what I found at least. But if you're not getting paid a significant amount of money to do those orders, it quickly becomes not worth it. You're going to realize it's going to be really hard to make even $15 an hour, $15, $20 an hour. And you're using your own vehicle, right? You're not using a company car. The company's not paying for your gas. The company's not paying if you get in an accident. You are using your own vehicle. So they're not going to compensate you for any of that expense related to operating your own vehicle. So I'm just curious to know what you guys think about it. I, 
I like driving my car and so I will do it if I'm just going places or on the weekends, if I have, you know, a spare hour here or there. So I understand why people would want to do that because it gives them the flexibility to work when they want and use their own vehicle. But if you, if you're getting paid, you know, some of these offers again, are three, four, five dollars for something that's going to take 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes. If the restaurant's late, if the customer's address is kind of hard to find, or the delivery instructions are weird, um, you know, you could end up making $10 an hour before expenses. Uber's the same way. I mean, I, I don't, I haven't done Uber because it involves having someone in your car, but I, when I took an Uber, the Uber price that I paid was like $59. And the driver told me he was only getting like $20 of that 59. So he was not happy. He was a African guy. I, I, I'm saying that because he was from Africa. He was, I think it was, I don't know if it was Ethiopia, but it was some country in Africa. And he was not happy. He was saying, they don't pay us enough and this and that. And I said, well, hey, I'm paying $60 for this ride. And he said, oh, well, I'm only getting 20. So maybe it was during a peak charge or something. I ended up using Lyft when I went back and it was way cheaper. It was like $28. But if the driver's getting paid 20 or 25 and Uber's charging me 60, you can see how the only entity making money there is the corporation, whether it's DoorDash or Uber or Lyft or whoever. So um, it's tough. It's very, very tough to make a, a, a living off doing those apps. I know people do, but I think they're working 70, 80 hours a week and they're using their own vehicle just to make $1,500 a week maybe. And not to say that that's bad, but you're really, really working hard for that money and you're depreciating your own vehicle. And there's a lot of expenses that uh, those companies aren't gonna pay you for. Like the, like I said, wear and tear, you know, if you have to replace parts on your vehicle, the maintenance, gas, insurance, uh, all that stuff comes out of, of, of the pay that you get. So I'm gonna stop there. You guys let me know what you think. I, th I just think it's interesting. There's less, uh, I think the orders are terrible now. And so anyone who's doing it, I'd be curious to get your feedback on how it's going for you. And uh, you guys can like the video if you want, subscribe for more, let me know what you think, and we will see you on the next one. Take care.